Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem forty-three in chapter twenty-five. Chapter twenty-five is electric currents and resistance. There we talk about household electrics. You can see, ask you how many light bulbs. This light bulb power is seventy-five watt. So we write it there. List the given quantities, and connected to the one hundred volts voltages, right? And then can be used without Burn the fuse. The total the current the fuse can suffer is five fifteen amperes. So th that means the total current for the household should below the four fifteen amperes, right? And then we can say for household currents, and uh, all the devices is connected in parallel. Do you agree? Yes, so for parallel connections, the current in the main branches equal to the sum of the current for each branches, right? Yes, and so that means the current at the main branches, this with fuse, should equal the n is a number, and then the times the current for each light bulbs. Agree? Yes. So we can see. In this case, we need to find the number n. So we need we need the i the, the current at the main branches is given. So it looks like we must get the current for each light bulb, and then we look at the given quantity. The given quantity is the power for the light bulb and the voltage for the light bulb, right? So very straightforward. You can get the current for light bulb as the power divided by voltage. This is the then the total current is given, so it is very easy for you to get the number n. So number n is use the total current divided by the current for each light bulb, and then input each light bulb as current as the power divided by voltages. You get the function look like this one. Input is the given quantity. Get the final answer as twenty four. Thank you.